Finally, what an epic walk in that was. I thought I'd try and find a, a new location for filming. And <laughs> I've just navigated back to this one, as usual, my favorite spot. I love this woods. Oh, wow. Can't believe how warm it is. I thought it'd cool down today, but uh, no, it's muggy, proper muggy. So we're, uh, we're gonna do a gear review. I've got myself a new tripod, so before we have a look at the gear, I'm gonna get a brew on and have a bit of bagging because I'm starving. That was a long walk. <laughs> right, let's get set up. this right I want to get this down my neck oh look at that good old soup and noodles and a bit of chorizo and this on asparagus and mushrooms beautiful right I'm gonna get this down my neck and have a brew and then we'll talk tripods Right, feel better now after that. Right, like I said, it's a gear review this, and I've got myself a new tripod. Why did I need a new tripod? Well, the one that I was using, too small. Uh, effectively, just not big enough to cope with this video head, because this, it's got quite a large base on it. You can see there, I'll just unwind it. Yeah, the size of that was too big for the old tripod. So, I wanted something, you know, with a decent diameter at the top of it. Now, I had a list, list of, a wish list, if you will, when I was looking for this. I wanted something that was, obviously, did the job. I wanted something that was really good value for money, and I wanted something that was light as possible. So I did loads of research, and I, I actually saw Thomas Heaton uh, using one, he's got a TC7, 
um, he's a landscape photographer have a look at his uh, channel does some fantastic landscape stuff uh, and I'd not really heard of, of the company that uh, that make this which is eye footage um, so I had a look into him and it ticked all the boxes it really did I mean I'm not sponsored by eye footage at all I paid for this out of my own money so it, it's not a sponsored video and I ended up with this so that is that is what you get it's this is the eye footage gazelle tc9 and it's called the fastball for reasons well I'll, I'll show you in a minute um it is a big tripod um we'll extend it now carbon fiber so it's light i'll give you all the specs shortly i'm gonna have to move back here <clears throat> so there you go i said it were a big tripod and it is so I'm just just under six foot and that's the size of it. Now you might think I don't need a tripod that big, why do I need something that's gonna go that tall? But I'll I'll explain in a minute. I was out a couple of weeks ago photographing uh, the fox cubs and I was <laughs> I was thinking the same thing actually when I was setting it up. I thought why do I need a tripod that big? But I actually used the full length of one leg. Now I had I had the um, the tripod set up on a banking. Now I had these these two legs. They were literally fully closed up, so sort of like that. Yep. And I was on a banking. Now. I had it set up like that, the, the legs they were all over the place and I literally, I couldn't get this leg anywhere and I extended it fully and it, it worked a treat so it looks weird but it works, sometimes you need you need the length of the legs even if you're not going high if you know what I mean um, now another, the, the killer feature on this is called the fastball and it's absolutely fantastic so you imagine that you're, you're um, You've got your tripod set up in a difficult scenario, um, an awkward position, and you can't quite get that level. Well, it has this ingenious little device here, whereby you just loosen that off, and you, it allows you to straighten it up. So it's, it, that comes out there, you've got like a, a, a half bowl in there, if you will, and that just sits in, quick release and you can get it perfectly level you've got a little spirit bubble in the top absolutely brilliant and I have used it loads I have used that thing loads of times people might think it's a bit gimmicky but it's a fantastic feature it really really is so that's the tripod folded down to its uh, its minimum height which is 710 millimeters so if you want to adjust the legs You've got this locking mechanism here, just pull that out and then once it gets to the top, it clicks back in. They are spring loaded these, so there's two positions. You just pull down, it clicks in, pull down again and that clicks in. And then you can just fold them in. It's got, it says it's got anti-finger trap technology, whatever that means, but I'll take their word for it. Uh, that's the fastball, you can see there, I'll open it up. There we go. All you have to do is turn it. If you want to take the whole thing out, press that red button in with your thumb. That comes out and you can remove the fastball. Uh, it'll take 12 kilos. That's the pit, that's the, the maximum load it'll take. I've no doubt it'll take more, but uh, ample for uh, you know any any big the biggest of prime lenses. Even with the big video head on, um, it, it just feels extremely strong. The fittings are fantastic. This is all aluminium. All the screws and bolts are stainless steel. So it just it just feels really, really good quality. You've got some inserts there for ancillary equipment. Uh, they're the, they're the, the feet. Now, this is another feature that I really like. On the old... The old tripod that I've got, it had spikes on it, but it had rubber bungs that shoved over the end. So when you wanted to use the spikes, you take the rubber bung off and then you lose it. 
and then you've got to buy a set of three and I've I've literally I bought two new sets for that because stuff goes missing doesn't it but these again really clever idea they're encapsulated so if you want to use the spikes you just screw that down if you don't want to use the spikes you just screw it up there and you're onto your rubber feet so you're not going to lose them how good's that that is really good it's a great idea so that'll save you a fortune and again you know it just <clears throat> and you've got a decent spike there for going into your, your soft ground there we go now <clears throat> A lot of tripods now, they have uh, twist locks, and I like the twist locks, they're, um, you know, they work, they work fine, but this one, they've got levers on. Okay, you see them there. Thumb lever, they're just really positive, um, and they're a good size as well. So, that up, and... Simple as that. Dead quick. Dead easy. Yeah, what I wanted to do was to uh, test it using a glove because obviously, you know, winter time, your hands are covered up. So this is the uh, the Valorette Scary Mitt. So again, the levers are, are big enough. So there's no problem adjusting them, you know, with a with a gloved hand. That was a bit of a concern when I got it. I thought, you know, are you going to be able to get hold of it? But that's fine. If I'm going on to me, my other mitts that are really me deep winter ones, these, you might think again, it's a bit of a struggle, but no problem. I can operate them perfectly fine. And also... If I'm altering the fastball, you know, dead easy. Uh, the legs, again, there's enough, enough of a lug to be able to get hold of it with a mitten. So, you know, they're not too fiddly. So, I mean, if I can operate it with, with that, they're absolutely fine for winter. So, happy days. So as I was saying before, one of the main reasons why I ended up getting this was because I use this all the time now. This is the uh, the Manfrotto video head, and the issue was the size of that compared to the uh, the top of me me other tripod. So that's the fastball. You can see that. So that is perfect. You can see when you when the fastball's on, it complements that brilliantly so you don't get any any loss in stability and that's it on there I think you'll agree it um, it's a quality bit of kit when you when you open up the the legs you know you can I think it was a if it was an inferior make you'd get a bit of play in there there's no waggle there's no it's just a, I don't know, it's just a really nice fit, very well engineered. It's got, you know, tight, tight tolerances on it, so nice and smooth. I say everything, all the fittings are stainless steel uh, or anodized aluminium. Yeah, quality bit of kit. I really do like it. Nothing's come loose up to now. I've had it for, um, I don't know, I've probably had it for about four months up to now. Um, I know on other tripods I've had nuts have started coming undone so i've had to tweak them with allen keys but up to now it's been absolutely fine so i want to show you now how how low profile this will go occasionally especially wildfowl work you know you're at a lakeside uh, you want to get really low down you want to get that uh, that really nice depth of field and you want to get low down if you have, haven't got a, a bean bag and you're on, you're only on your tripod this just shows you how low it'll go. Just click them out. And there. Uh, you're literally on the deck. You really are. 
So that is that is superb, isn't it? I mean, I'm probably well there. So elbow, elbow height, whatever that is, I'm not sure. Uh, probably about I don't know 300 mil to the uh, you know the centre of the lens. But uh, yeah, that gives me a real real nice perspective. That so yeah, great for great for low level work. Obviously, that's the the only restriction is the the fastball uh, handle, but again it's literally it's that that far off the ground so no problem so here we can see the tripod viewed through the thermal imaging camera the temperature's down to 19 degrees and then i just put my hand onto the tripod leg leave it there for a few seconds and you'll see how the heat is transferred onto the carbon there we go that shows it up nicely and that already at 25 degrees making this tripod really comfortable to handle in cold temperatures so yeah that is the iFootage TC9 fastball the gazelle um, I'm well chuffed with it I really do like it and it's good value as well um, I got mine from Pro AV really good company dead good to deal with um, have a look on the website, they do all sorts of stuff, they're a, an eye footage stockist. Um, I think at the moment it's about 400 quid, 390, something like that, which I think is fantastic value. I mean, <laughs> some of, the, uh, some of the, the tripods out there, they are literally, they are eye-wateringly expensive. And I think, I think this, this tripod really does give good value for money. Uh, I'll certainly, uh, I'll be using it for a long time. I really, I really do think it's a, it's a belting piece of kit. So that's it. That's the, uh, that's the review. That's the tripod review. Uh, hopefully I'll be getting out maybe tonight doing some barn owl work with it. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, give us a thumbs up, um, like, share, all that kind of stuff. And uh, hey, we'll see you on the next one. See you later. Mm -hmm.